Hello everyone, it's me Temper Wander here today. Why am I sounding like Markiplier? Anyway, today we're going to be going over supplementaries. It's a mod with a lot of things, as you can clearly see. Yes. Yes. So we're going to start at the beginning, over here, with the main feature, the jar. So in the... Shop clock. In the jar, you may be able to get... Uh, you, blah, blah, blah. you can use the jar to get various swords and stuff like that. For example, you can actually use the jar to get XP. If you have an XP level, you just right click a enchanting table to get XP in the ball there. It also damages you. Yeah, there's a lot of cool little features of the jar. I will go over them in detail at some point, but right now uh, I'm going to go over generic overview because as you can see, there's a lot of stuff. <gasps> right. You can use a faucet to draw honey out of beehives, modded beehives as well. This doesn't have any bees. You can also use it to store potions from inspirations, as you can see, and to prove that this is modded, there's all that stuff. Um, as for if inspiration spells work, let me double check that. So it should be lingering something. Linger something. Hold on. There it is. Okay, so the linger the inspiration doesn't have the lingering support, which makes me slightly internally read, but it's okay. Because you could just, I don't know, you could just yeet it in here anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. Just interesting. Anyway, uh, yeah. So, I will demonstrate that just by pouring water there. Getting a, uh... What, where, where did all my water go? It drained, didn't it? This is why you have to always close the faucet when you're done, kids. Now... <sighs> anyway, gonna brew ourselves a new potion. So I'm gonna show you quickly the jar. So we're gonna rip this jar off. Uh, yes. As you can see, you could fill the jar with your XP. Yeah, yeah. It hurts. So with the jar, you can do things like this. Oh look, it's XP. You can just pour it out. Ah yes, fresh experience. So yeah, if you're curious, you could just throw one of these in. Get back out. Get it back in, there you go. So yeah. Uh you can also use faucets to fill up goblets. That's why I have this here for, in case you're wondering. So we can fill it up with potion. So in this case, we're going to make a healing potion. Which will be... I think the string is the one I'm looking for. Yes, it is. Here it is. Go aside. So while that's clicking, I'm just going to go... Eh, you can right click it too, but I just wanted to try to throw it in to be fancy. Anyway, we're going to go over the next items. The sack, the rope, and some candelabras. So first off, the sack is made by using uh, flax. It's early game transport. Um... You can carry up to like two or three of them and they start giving you slowness after like the third one. So yes, it's really good. Um, it has gravity, as you can see. And the ropes can be placed on the other side of surfaces, as you can see. Hang that back up there. Yeah. So yeah, as you can see, we now have uh, healing, so we pour some. Ah yes, the potion of healing. Ah, delicious. Anyway. Uh, candelabras, they can hang in various directions, uh, they can be made of various materials. I believe you can make silver, but I don't have a silver mod, because I create. Anyway, uh, here's scones. That, so normally you're supposed to be able to turn off the wa the water using, like, water bottles, I think? So normally you're supposed to be able to right click it to turn it off, but due, due to the way that it's currently working, the only way to do that is with a dual wielding bucket. So yeah, I think that may be a bug. So yeah. As you can see, all these are turned off. Uh, this notice spot board right here, as you notice, noticing of this notice has been noticed, you know it will be noticed more. Uh, you can put book and quill, banner, and stuff like that. Uh, in case you're wondering what it looks like with a banner, I will put this skull charge. That's what it looks like. It's nice. Chalkboard right here that you customize. It only has two colors, white or black. If you click one color, it turns the other color. So, whoop! Give him, like, 
Little hair. Yes. Yes. You can actually break it down. You're supposed to use a pickaxe or an axe for this. Oh. Oh. You need to use the rubber tool. <laughs> oh, I destroyed my painting. But yeah, a uh, blackboard is made by using this. I'm pretty sure it's an axe. Maybe a pickaxe. Hold on. Okay, yeah, pickaxe. So you can say... Hi. And you can pick it up. Carry it with you. Slap on your friend's wall, go, hi. Your friend could just destroy it, and take it with them. Go to your right potion, pur purify it once you pour out all the potions. There we go, no more potion. Why is it still red? There we are. Stop burning! Thank you. No, wait, you can't, you could, you have to just, how do you clear, oh, I'm dumb. I thought you could use a cauldron, I thought you could use it in a cauldron. No, you just have to erase it like the. Am I stupid? Why, why won't you let me erase it? Game plus. Uh, yeah, that seems to be a bug. I will make a note about that. So yeah, uh, we also have bamboo stacks that you can walk on to do damage. Ah! Uh, there's also this little uh, timer. This is comparator based. It uses with the comparator. It basically is like a 60 second timer. The various does have different times. Here's a doormat. You can store stuff in it. Uh, here's a shelf. You can store stuff on it. Uh, as you can see. There's a globe. In case you're wondering, what does the globe do? It spins. It has a unique texture based on the world seed. So yeah. Uh, there's also some neat hidden features about that, but you can just find it yourself. Here's a magma slime block. What does it do? It only sticks one way. It's the yellow side. And that's about it. There's a statue. You can steal stuff from it. You can put stuff on it. It has a redstone output. Speaking of steal stuff, uh, here's raped gravel. You hold gravel. There you go. That's how you do. Anyway. Uh, rich soil from Farmer's Delight, so you could plant anything that you could put on rich soil there. Uh, this button, these are cogs, and these lead up to a speaker block. Now, the speaker block is special. It actually talks in chat, and it can also talk using narrator. Um, I would not recommend using narrator, but yeah. Here we have a netherite door. Now, netherite door is special. First off, it's blast proof. Second, you can lock it using a key. So, I get a key. Really quickly, a key. So, if you name this key whatever, like Bob or whatever, yeah. As you can see, I can still open it. Open, close, open, close. Yeet the key. Yeah. So, these little guys right here are special. Golden doors. You can open and close them like normal. But, if you have a wrestling signal, they, they stick, stay stuck in their orientation. So, if they're open... They're open. If they're close, they're close. If half of them's open, both of them work because quark functionality. That's on quark's part, honestly. Uh, next, we have this uh, sticky piston. Back down. So this is a launcher piston. It can launch you up. Ah, my leg. And uh, here is... Is what you're supposed to use with the hourglass. Oh yeah, this is Illuminator. So, the more redstone power it gets, the dimmer it gets. As you know. Please don't let there be an enderman in here. I don't want to deal with this. You notice it's getting really dim. Even dimmer. 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 Okay, so that's basically the max. This is a turntable. And this is a crank. So a crank's output 
It's basically okay, so the way crank works one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, zero. So you can just put redstone here, tr trigger to one. Shift right click to switch it back. Oh boy. Okay. Stop it! Stop! Okay, we're gonna fix that. There you are. So now, give you a weak power source, it'll rotate it. There you go. See? That simple. Uh, here we have, along with part of this stuff, we have a pulley. Yes, a pulley block with chains. So what does this do? Yep, it can lift up items, time and stuff like that. Uh, it can work with other mods chains, but they don't have this pickup feature like with the, uh... There was a, there was a chain I used that didn't work. Uh, I think it was Frozen Chain? From Environmental? The Ice Chain? Yeah. So these are bellows. What bellows do, they make material faster and quicker. So if I go with coal... So let me show you. We're gonna do this without coal. Really so. Turn that on. Yum! And as you can see, it does significantly speed up. This is the clock. It's the thing that's been running for a few seconds. Clocks are special. You can right click in to find out the time. Uh, you can also have a wire to observers and to cogs to be able to activate this bell. I made it as compact as I could. I hope people like it. If not... Uh... So yeah, we're just going to wait for that to ring and then I'll move on to the other things. And all the other things up there. And I'm going to go away. Uh, it's about to fly in the sky. I could fly just as high. You know, it would be really awkward if I was muted this entire time. No, I'm not on muted. Okay, cool. Alright, so we're just gonna wait for this, and boom, as you can see, it bell rings. This is a weather vane, it changes direction based on the weather, so... It doesn't really do much, it just looks nice. This is an iron gate, you can use it with iron bars. This is a gold gate, you can use it with gold bars. This is a pancake tower. Oh. Running around at the speed of that. So, these are made using pancakes, you can stack them several times. Let's see how many times you can stack them. We're going to put it on this cage here. Up to eight times? Yeah. There we are. Perfectly balanced. This is a key block. You can lock keys to it. When you have it locked to a key, it activates a signal. So you can clear the ownership so that whenever you right click, it activates. So yeah, if I do, see, this is a little stone lamp. This is a hanging sign, which actually has physics. This is a sign that points wherever you want. You can left click it, I think. I forgot how you point it. I think you have to, no. Where, where, how do I move the sign? Anyway, there is a way to move the sign. Let me just double check really quickly. Do, 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 do. <laughs> uh there are new type structure do, 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 do. if you're wondering where I'm getting this from there's a discord I will link the discord and the mod itself uh yeah Okay, so yeah, I don't know how I work it. This is plant stuff. You can plant, you know, seeds and stuff like that. This is a safe. You can also lock it with a key. So if you have the key... Uh, Alright, this is a heavy thing. This is a safe. It takes a while to break. 
And as long as you have the key, you can actually put stuff in. Like that. But let's say you don't have the key, you can't, you can't access it. Nope. You can't do shit. Uh, the cages can be used to capture mobs, so if you have, like, say, a chicken. Just storm in the cage. There you go, he's sad now. Fireflies and soul fire are things you can capture in jars. Uh, soul fire you get from right clicking soul sand, or no. Is this a recipe or is this something you could do? I think you get it from, yeah, I think you get it from soul, soul sand particles. So yeah, you capture fireflies. And yeah, that's basically it for today. Uh, that's going to be most of the mock on this. There's a lot of things in here that I haven't gone over. There's a lot of hidden content, stuff like that. Like what you can put in jars, where you can eat. Um, for example, uh, if we go to this jar over here that I just emptied. You can store cookies in jar. Now, I think it's only vanilla cookies, so I want to test the other modded ones. <gasps> cookies! No. <laughs> you can eat the cookies in jar. I love it. Uh, yeah, you can put a lot of things. You can do a lot of things. You have a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah. That's gonna be it for today. Um... Be sure to explore around, come to the Discord if you want more information. And that's gonna be roughly it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, yeah, that was the longest video I probably did. Uh, we're gonna break the rope now. Oh yeah, one more thing about ropes before I forget because I am a dumbass. Uh, Bo. Arrow. Rope. Bamf. It'd be Robin Hood. Fantastic, I love it. Anyway, that's gonna be it for today. Hope you guys enjoy it, and uh, bye everyone. Let's see if I can shoot that chain. Yeah, chain is made of steel, so I don't think... I don't think it's gonna work anytime soon. Okay, bye!